Welcome to GTV. Today I will be showing you how to install the Nelson Heat Trace PLT Series Connection Kit. These kits are used with heating cables to maintain a temperature for pipes by running along the pipe with an electrical heating element. The PLT Series has a number of connection kits that includes Power Connection Kit, Splice Connection Kit, and T Connection Kit. The power connection kit is ideal for connecting up to two heating elements to existing power wiring. A splice connection kit is designed for connecting two heating cables to an inline splice configuration, and the T connection kit is used for connecting three heating cables in a T splice configuration. For this demonstration, I will be using the power connection kit. I have one already installed in this setting here, but will also use the kit in front of me to show how this is installed. This kit contains a universal base, box adapter, ceiling gasket, and a lock nut. This will make up the shaft that will mount to the pipe and the junction box, which is also included in the kit. In addition to this, I have a ceiling grommet, two pipe clamps, a cable end seal, and adhesive sealant and a power termination. First, I will make the mounting base. I will need to slide one end of the heating cable through the bottom of the base and then place the ceiling grommet over the cable. The smaller end of the ceiling grommet should fit into the top of the base. It is also important to make sure that the cable sits in flushed with the ceiling grommet. Next, I will take the box adapter and place it over the cable and onto the base. I will loosely tighten this so that I can continue to pull or feed the cable for now. I can now feed the cable through the junction box and place the gasket over it and then the plastic o-ring to completely fasten the unit. Inside the junction box, I have a DIN rail mountable terminal block that provides a spring terminal connection. I will need to strip the cable to expose the braided wire underneath. I can use a small razor blade or wire cutters to make an incision approximately four inches from the end around the over jacket and then through the center. This will allow me to remove the over jacket. I can then move the braid back toward the over jacket and create a bulge in the braid. At the bulge, I will separate the braid to make an opening. As I bend the heater cable, I am able to work the heater cable through the bulge away from the braided wire. Now I will shave the core material to expose the bus wires. I will need to separate the bus wires from the core material so that I can remove the middle core material. I will take the two bus wires and place them through the power termination. I will fill the inside of the power termination with a little silicone and push the power termination to overlap the over jacket. After I make sure that the unit fastened on all ends, I can install the braid to the ground terminal block and the bus wires to the two other terminals. I can now place the base on the pipe or conduit and funnel the cable along the wire pathway under the base. I will then use pipe clamps to tighten the base to the pipe or conduit. It is important to make sure that the clamps do not touch the cable itself. I can run the cable around the pipe and use fiberglass tape to fasten the cable. At the end of the cable, I can apply some silicone to the end cap and place this on at the end of the cable. Finally, I can place the label onto the box cover and fasten it to the junction box. Nelson Heat Trace PLT Series Connection Kit, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at galco.com.